Hey guys, welcome to episode 7 of the Canadian Adventure. We are back and it's time for Continental Football. So obviously last episode we had the Vancouver third qualifying round and then we had the first defeat in charge to Halifax but today we go to Belize to play against Real Verdes. So they have one player who we did scout and from the scout that we have he's not great. It's not great at all. Apparently UAE sides want him, so obviously sorry if I've still got a cold, so I'm gonna try and get rid of the cold before I record too many more episodes, but it's what it is. I haven't had any corona recently, so I'm okay. So yeah, so last episode we established that this is the Europa League basically. And I'm guessing I qualified by winning the Spring League. So if I win the Canadian Championship, I should win should get into the North American Champions League. I haven't got any schedule yet. So, if we get through this, let's see. I haven't, again, same as last episode, I don't know what to expect. We are overwhelming favourites to win, though. So, uh, right, so we'll have James goal. Why have I got uh, So, Alan Zeebe's injured for quite a bit. So, we're going to play a Sue, even though he's leaving. Moses Didick, Soria, Doe, Oakley Booth, Shani, Edwini Bonzu, and Tomi Amiobi, and Easton Ongara. So, let's see how we do against Real Verdes from Belize. I also have no idea if this turns into a group stage competition after this, so if we win we will find out. And replay should be fixed now as well guys, so hopefully we'll score now and find out. Easton Ongara, two and a half minutes in. There we go. So just a standard free kick. No one reacts apart from Ongaro. 1-0 to Edmonton. Charney. See, looking at this so far, I think we might win handsomely, boys, if I'm honest with you. That's Tomi Amiobi. So just Charney. There's no real structure to their midfield, so... Actually, Booth. Look at that. <clears throat> so we might rest some people in the next one, boys. If I'm honest. So this is one of those things where I didn't know whether to play this one off camera and then play it play the next round but this is definitely an episode for the replays by the way it's gonna take it forever just to do this one <laughs> this one game what is Don't Oakley Booth sorry who's an inverted wing back, so he, but he's literally playing centre midfield at the minute. Sammy Obi, and it's 4 0, right? 4 0 after 10 minutes. So I don't think we're going to play the second game, boys. I think I might skip it and play some, <laughs> play a different game. We'll see. I think the match afterwards is Ottawa, but we'll see. Maybe there'll be a fancy edit. But for now, it's 4 0 to Edmonton. This could be anything at this point. Oh, and they've got the ball into our box. So Connor James has his first touch. <clears throat> we get a lot of assists today, I think. Okay, you've actually missed something. Three assists for David Doe's good to see. And the young lad, Hattrick from Omiobi after 15 minutes. Ungaro getting on the action, that's 5 0 already. Oh, 
Jesus. That's six now. <laughs> this might be my biggest ever win on Football Manager, the way it's going. It's 25 minutes and I'm six and up. That's hat trick for both of my strikers in 25 minutes. I'm going to feel bad when I take them off at half time, but. I think if we get many more, I'm going to have to turn replays off for the rest of this game. <laughs> On two. It is just highlights every minute. Okay, all right, a seven. I think as well the way this tactic is set up to just absolutely bomb down the wings it's just for a poor team it's just so hard to defend against it's just one ball better movement goal 7 nil, half an hour so we're a third of the way through the match here boys this could end in the 20s apparently my goalkeeper's been complacent sounds good to know I can't imagine he's had much to do So another one. That's eight nil. <laughs> <laughs> Oakley Booth with a beautiful ball out to the wing. Between the Bonso, powers forward, cross, Amiobi, keeper couldn't catch a cold. It's a goal. We're definitely not going to play the second leg of this on live con boys. I think I'll let it and we'll play a different game. <laughs> oh dear, twenty four shots, twelve on target. The keeper's made four saves, so Got a feel for the lad. Wow. It's nine. Sammy Obi. So that's Ant. What I meet you on this episode. Right, so just a casual 9 0 at half time. Done very well, boys. Right, let's make some subs, shall we? So let's give Diok on for Amiobi. Let's let for Gay on for Ungaro. And Link or Joseph for uh, Taylor Booth. The full Mourinho, three subs at half time. The goalkeeper is uninterested. I can't imagine why. We start playing with lower tempo. You know what? You were right. Let's just relax, shall we? Let's just lower this right down. Let's just keep the ball. Because <clears throat> one thing we don't want, boys, is a horrendous injury. As much as I'd love to win 40 nil, it's uh So that's a pen, I'm sorry, that's ten nil. So don't. <clears throat> Sorry about the coughing, guys. Still got the cold. It'll never go away. I am. I work in a fridge. To be fair, so it's, it's never going to go away. I've had a couple of shots. I've. It's been a poor second half from the boys. 
Right, can we get 11? Oh, that's a good save. Oh, it's safe to say we've won this game, boys. I think it's safe to say. So there we go. It's our first experience of continental football. 37 shots, 19 on target, a 10 0 win. So, to sort of break all the records now. Five goals. I'm going to praise him. What can I say? Right, so what we'll do. <clears throat> is we will skip the next match and we'll come back for a good old-fashioned game against Pacific FC. So, with the power of editing... Cut. Right, I hope that transition was as tidy and as clean as it looked. So, put the B team out in the second leg. Won it 5-1. Goals from Amanda, Diok, Sergei, Soria, and Moses. Even put the subkeeper out. So we got through that. So we were drawn against, in the first round proper, Heron Diane, who we did look at before, the Costa Rican side, who won the competition last year. So, this might be a difficult one. It might be very difficult. There's still no US teams in this yet or any other Canadian teams actually for that matter or Mexican teams so I still think we're a while to go before we break into the league table that's cool so we've got quarters semis so obviously they are not in it how strange but either way that's our next one in that so the next couple of episodes after so we're going to do the another Pacific game just for old time's sake so next episode we're going to have Ottawa Fury for the semi for the Canadian Championship, and then we're going to have the Herendano. Harry and Dano, I don't know. Harry Diano? God knows. Double bill for the Continental. So it's exciting times. But anyway, the team against Pacific. So I made one signing in between that, by the way. I signed Pancho Fernandez, who I have had on trial a couple of times because uh, John Montano is leaving at the end of the season on a free, so he was a bit of a bit of a no go. But he's leaving for like a three grand a week. So, craziness. So, the team for this game. James, Asua, Moses, Didik, Soria, Doe, Booth, Shani, ZB, because Adrian Bonsu suspended, and then Imamia Bionkari. So, let's get through this. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the, enjoying the show. A lot of goals, a lot of goals. back next episode right so we actually ha we are actually not top at the minute because we have a game in hand with forge which is a very strange position for us to be in but let's see Oh, it's good to play Pacific again. So I'm going right. Johnny. Now to Davy Doe. It's a good finish, and it's another early goal for us, which we seem to do a lot. Sorry, into Angari, into Amiobi Zibi. Oof. Still creating, we've just created so many chances. It's such a good, such a good simple formation. It's weird that this tactic works, but. Yeah, 
Nakajima Farron. That is a double barrel name, that, isn't it? Nothing crazy there in the first half. 1 0 up, dominating the game. If we can get another one to secure it, it's a good episode, boys. It'll be a good episode. Because Moses from the dead ball up to Yamiobi. Ongaro. That's poor. That's very poor. That Dave Norman. It is Dave Norman. It's dope. Wins it in zone half. Powers forward. Oh, just doesn't get the cross in. <clears throat> That's a good finish from Emmanuel Zambazis. That's all from David Doe not getting the ball, and he's been he's improved quite a lot, but he just can't be doing that. So it was a top finish. I don't think Connor James is getting anywhere near that. Doe puts it in. Right, how's everyone playing? Tongaro is actually playing pretty poorly, so we'll bring on Diog. And we'll get Pancho's debut. Charney, Sua, Diark, oof, almost, almost the impact I wanted from him there. That's unlucky. That's not a good sign. Patch has already taken a knock. Well, really, that's a poor result because we've absolutely dominated them. But. Say la it's the first game in a while that uh, Amiobi and Ongaro didn't score. But I'll take a one-all draw, really. It's one of those things, because we won the first um, <clears throat> first stage, I'm, it's not too much pressure because I'm going to have the final. And obviously, as of right now, in real life, they have changed the structure for the second season. So obviously, this is the first season that it was a thing. So the second season, they've just got one whole league 28 games which makes way more sense than this weird double season thing that we've got on this game so this is pretty much going to be the only time that the cpl looks like this so that's pretty cool so next year if, even if we do edmonton next year it'll be a completely different save so that's cool right i think on that boys hope you enjoyed the episode if you like it put a like on it and next episode we're going to be back for the Ottawa Fury double header for the Canadian Championship semi-final. A win there will pretty much get us Toronto because they've absolutely smashed Cavalry. So that'll be interesting. And then obviously the episode after Herodiano from Costa Rica in the North American League first round. And then when we get knocked out of both of those, power through the league and then we can get on to next season. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.